Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today the video that I have for you will be a makeover of my cube shelf and it'll be in the farmhouse style and I'm doing it for under 20 bucks. If you're new here, my name is Troy. I am an army wife, an army veteran, and a stay-at-home mom of three. If you're interested in how I transform this piece of furniture, I'd love for you to stick around. <laughs> So guys, I'm going to start out saying sorry. I did not film myself painting, sanding, or stripping the laminate paper off of the cube shelf. But about halfway through, I thought about it, and this is where I was in the process. So the only thing that I bought new was the faux wood floor vinyl, and I bought nine pieces. Now my shelf is approximate 15 inches by about 65. That's a very loose measurement. If you're doing this, I suggest that you measure. I'm pretty good at eyeballing since this is like my 100th DIY project. So starting out, I'm measuring the depth of the shelf. Um, I'm trying to find the center and when I do, I will get the center of the tile as well and then I will line them up. So you guys, there is some overage with this vinyl plank and I'm just using an old cutting board as a straight edge. And when you cut on the top of the plank, if you put enough force, it will break just like butter. It's such a simple process. So now I'm going to cut the edge of the vinyl because the shelf is not completely flush. There's a little bit of a lip on the edge and I want it to be even. So here's my starting point, just one piece of vinyl down the center and I want the pieces to be staggered to look as if it was an actual wooden plank. And here is what I am showing you is the staggering that I want it to look like. So there was just a little bit left over from the tile that goes on the side, so I just cut it off of the edge. It was pretty simple since the shelf itself is straight and I didn't need a straight edge to do it. If this is your first time trying something like this, I would definitely advise you to use real tools. As you can see, my cutting board moved a little bit while I was using it as a straight edge. So I know how to make adjustments, but I wouldn't suggest that for a first time DIYer. But right now I'm just trying to cut the vinyl so that it'll break cleanly. It wasn't working. I think my X-Acto knife got dull, so I had to cut under as well as on the top. So 
So now I am just going to measure on this piece of vinyl what I need to cut so that it will cover the side top of the shelf. And now that I have those pieces marked, I am just going to put it on the cutting board and use another piece of vinyl as a straight edge. And so I'm going to stick it up here and in a moment I'm going to move the camera to show you that I already marked it on the front but I'm also going to cut it on the back to make sure that it breaks very cleanly. One thing to remember when you're using this type of towel is that the adhesive is very very strong so when you stick it somewhere you have to be sure. If you decide to rip it off and start fresh you will need a new piece of vinyl because it will not stick again. Now I want to show you that even with cutting it on both sides of the vinyl towel, it didn't break as cleanly as I would have liked it to. So what I'm going to do is just take my X-Acto knife, push it up a little bit more, and start to scrape. And I'm going to scrape the towel until it is flush with the top of the shelf. I just want to give you guys a bird's eye view of me trying to make it flush. This is on the other side of the shelf and I am by no means a professional. I make quite a few mistakes, but I just want to show you that you can always find a way to fix it and do better. I have managed to finish it and I am so happy with the results. It took me about a whole day, honestly, probably eight hours, but I had to stop and go and break up fights over Netflix, that type of thing. So right now I want to give you a close up of a couple of imperfections and how I fix them. As you can see right here, there's a bit of a space between each tile, whereas right here there is not. The reason there's space is because I made a mistake and I had to cut a whole tile in half and try to fit a piece in there. And since this will be my coffee bar, I want it to be, what do you call it, um, waterproof. And as you can see right here, there's a little bit of the towel that I did not cut completely straight. So what I did was kind of try to fill it in and I did that with Gorilla Glue. It bonds really well and it is waterproof. So I guess you can call it grouting. So here's the shelf all decorated and my coffee pot on top. I hope this gave you guys some motivation to take an old piece of furniture and turn it into something that you love. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Excuse me, princess. I'm trying to do a photo shoot. Luna. Luna, I know you hear me talking to you. I'm trying to take a picture of my shelf. Could you move? You gonna move or no? Or you just gonna look at me? You sunning yourself right now? You're so rude. That's what you are. You're rude.